ఐఎమ్ దుర్గా ప్రసాద్ రెడ్డి ప్రొఫెసర్ అండ్ హెడ్ వైదేహి ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ కార్డియక్ సైన్సెస్ వైదేహి హాస్పిటల్ బెంగళూరు టెట్ స్పెల్స్ ఆర్ నథింగ్ బైల్స్ బట్ ఇట్స్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ సైనాడిక్ స్పెల్స్ దిస్ అ డెఫినేషన్ ఫర్ సైనాడిక్ స్పెల్స్ వెన్ డూ యూ సే ఇట్స్ సైనాడిక్ స్పెల్స్ వెన్ ద చైల్డ్ ఇస్ ఇరిటేటెడ్ హైపర్ ఇరిటబుల్ స్టేట్ ద హార్ట్ రేట్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ పేషెంట్స్ దెర్ విల్ బీ డిసప్పియరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎజెక్షన్ సిస్టాలిక్ మోమర్ ఫ్రమ్ ద హార్ట్ and there will be deepening of cyanosis patient develops convulsions and death this is the sequence which happens in tet scale why this develops is because there is no blood which is going into the pulmonary artery most of the blood is going into the aorta the blood is not even a drop of blood is not entering the pulmonary artery that's why the child experiences the tet spells or a cyanotic spells why this happens is because of two mechanism the main important mechanism what uh, we always understand is the systemic vascular resistance what happens to systemic vascular resistance really drops down whenever the systemic vascular resistance comes down all the blood goes into the aorta and gets pulled into the lower limbs once the systemic vascular resistance drops and the patient's heart rate is increased the child will become acidotic once the child becomes acidotic then there will be a lot of uh, increased breathing once this happens there is a increased negative thoracic pressure more blood is coming into the right side of the heart and more blood is entering the vst into the aorta nothing is entering into the, that means two reasons decreased systemic vascular resistance and increased systemic venous return these are the two causes for happening of the tet spells how do we manage tet spell is a very important thing we need to break the cycle how do we break the cycle in smaller children we held the child in a knee chest position that means you hold the knee the knee has to come and face the chest the moment you do that what happens the femoral artery and the femoral veins are kinked by kinking the femoral artery what happens you increase the systemic vascular resistance and also by kinking the femoral vein you reduce the systemic venous return by doing this you allow the blood to enter the pulmonary artery you will reduce the entry of the blood into the aorta by reversing the tet spells